and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're back in Infinite Lagrange. And today we are actually open up. So the servers are opening up to be able to transfer to a new server. The uh, first four servers are going to be merging into one server, which I have to say I'm not a massive fan of. I would have liked us to be able to like transfer from one server to any number of the servers that we have currently. I have friends that are playing on a different server and I kind of didn't have the motivation to start a new account with them. And I was sort of waiting and waiting and waiting until we got the server transfers so i could transfer over so i didn't start a new account just in case so it, so now i'm so far behind on the actual server and actually getting the boxes and doing a lot of the battle pass stuff and getting the kills and uh, so i can get the extra black market boxes that i kind of like don't feel like starting a new account over there so what we're going to do in today's video we're just going to start from the beginning i've just logged into server one and it's put me straight on the activate lagrange gate so it's now open and we'll be connecting to a larger transport network. And let's see what actually happens. It's going to be a step by step of what actually happens when you go from finishing a server to starting on a new one. Now, there seems to be a little bit of a sort of cinematic going on here where we're moving from this server with all of our little ships and stuff. And we're going to go through the gate and we're going to be starting on the new server. We've got a development rating of Glory Pioneer, which I guess gives me 50 uh, Dawn points, which... A lot of people are a little bit upset with. I'm not too worried about it. Like, I wasn't expecting too much from it. So we're actually going to go in here and we're going to say this is complete. The Glory Pioneer is complete. Good times. The occupancy was mostly done by the Russian unions on server one. After a little cutscene, you're actually going to be put in back into your map. So you do get some decent emblem backgrounds and stuff for actually winning on the server. And you get like uh, you get some new skins for ships different colors nothing like that actually helps you to push on further from the game that's what you pretty much get you just get the emblem backgrounds and i accidentally bought one which is amazing there wasn't any confirmation there that that is absolutely great i was just scrolling and accidentally clicked exchange so now i've got a blue one okay that's fine a new system has been discovered v1209 you get a little bit of lore and explanation at the bottom there. We won't go through all that stuff. I'll let you guys do that yourself. So once you go inside here, you get a little tips on relocation here, the target system, and a countdown of 70 hours and 22 minutes. It tells you what will be saved on here. We've gone through in a different video before, but it does save your true coins, your Proxima coins. It saves your current union, tech files under research, tech files in inventory. It saves your blueprint models and your tech points, tech point items, research points, livery, emblems your union member list and all that's all pretty much what they're going to be saving when we're going to be moving over there and everything else is actually reset every union will be randomly assigned an anchoring point before passing through stargates upon entering the new system union members will automatically go to the area where their anchoring points are located explorers not affiliated to union have to select the area they want to go to before entering stargates there is a strict limit on the amount of supplies you can carry while passing one-way stargates. The data and processed as follows as we've gone through earlier. So the first four servers, Lyra, Cetus, Horologium, and Scutty145, they're going to be ones that are merging into one server. So it seems we actually have to wait for another countdown timer. So the countdown timer yesterday for the eight hours for this to start was just spooling up another countdown timer, which is 70 hours. So we're going to have to wait 70 hours before we can actually go to the relocation and basically, as we said before, what was going to happen is everyone's going to get pushed to the new server. Each union will have an anchor point somewhere, somewhere in the solar system. So you like, say, for instance, your union's anchor point is going to be over here. All of your union members seem, according to this, as far as I can tell, are actually going to be ending up all in the same place. And then if you're an, an, like another union will end up over here, another union will end up over here. So you're actually going to be all with your own union members. Your union will be saved and the member list will be saved as you move over. And then we're going to start the process again of actually conquering the galaxy. It's going to, it's a bit of a shame that we have to play with all the same people again, because like server one was toxic as shit. Like I was not happy with the way that people were on server one, but hopefully now there's going to be a lot more unions that actually work together in from two, three and four. Cause I've heard there were a lot less war mongering, war hungry unions over on that, on those servers. So hopefully there's something that's been going on, but then again, we might have like server two, three and four might work independently of each other. So all the unions on server two will work together. All the unions on server three will work together. All on four will work together. The server one has no cohesion because there was one union who just ran around and steamrolled everyone made them all their slaves and there wasn't any like sort of everyone was sort of fighting each other you had all the russians fighting the english-speaking alliances and then you had the german unions helping out the english alliances for a while and then you had all this other stuff going on 
but it pretty much it was just the most fractured server I've ever played on in my life. Like there was no diplomacy on this server whatsoever. Everyone just killed each other. So like the people on server one are going to be going into this new server pretty much alone. So we're going to have to see how it goes. I will give you guys some updates on the actual server itself when we get in there and we start finding out what's going on. If you, if you are from server 1, 2, 3, or 4 and you want to join Mass Effect, our union, I'll make some spots because there are a lot of players that are not going to be coming back because they're not too happy with the fact that we're all going to be merging rather than being able to pick what server we wanted to go to. There was some definite uneasiness and unhappiness from a lot of our players themselves. I'm not a massive fan of it, but I see why they did it. There could be some other, there should have been some other options that were available. Maybe some of the servers should have had a time limit on there. So a minimum time limit, a server has to be, say, three weeks old for you to be able to transfer to it. That would have been quite nice. That would have been a nice, easy way for us to get to play with each other. But we'll have to see how it goes. Once we get to the 70-hour countdown timer, I'll start another video. I'll do another video of the actual transferring to the new one, and I'll go through everything that is going to be coming up through there, what we have on the other side, make sure everything goes through okay. And if there's any issues, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Now, I was hoping this was going to be a full server transfer video, and I apologize that it's not. But we will do that video later on. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like and sub if you haven't already. This is your one-stop shop for mobile gaming content. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams. Our ancestors took the first step into outer space. Started completely. They set foot on the edge of the solar system with warp drives. Initiating warp drive Yet interstellar travel was still beyond reach. That is, until a high-energy space warping experiment changed the course of our history. A resonance point of war space was found, and millions of beacons were sent into detection. Two, one. The experiment took hundreds of years until an echo from far away broke the silence. With it came the tunnel between two star systems and a long-awaited exit was located, leading us to the other side of the galaxy. As more and more tunnels were found at Lagrange points, they've gradually adopted the name Lagrange Nodes. technologies, industries, and the capital we offered. And the experiment of mass object transmission succeeded. We thrived and prospered in space. Proxima Centauri, about four light years away from the solar system, was chosen as the location for the first giant stargate. The two-way Stargate brought us adventures and opportunities. Losses and regrets. Conflicts and compromises. As more and more exits were marked within the galaxy, a new map was created. The Lagrange Network. It is the start of a new journey. And the beginning of a great era.